Oh, I haven't watched this, but I'm, I think I'm just going to do a short clip. But it's of interest to everyone. Advisor, her, I think her dad was an advisor to Nixon on on uh, economics, and she's going to start talking about here comes the blockchain digital currency at the world government. See, world government summit. See it? Okay, here we go. Let's Let's listen. What underpins a world order is always the financial system. Mm. Uh, I was very privileged. My father was an advisor to Nixon when they came off the gold standard in 71. And so I was brought up with a kind of inside view of how very important the financial structure is to absolutely everything else. And what we're seeing in the world today, I think, is we are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, yes. we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting huh. and introduce a new one. That's and a, the new one, the, dollar. the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. Listen it this. means having a almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also raises huge dangers in terms of the balance of power between states and citizens. In uh -huh. my opinion, we're going to need a digital constitution of human rights if we're going to have digital money. Uh, but also, this new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private. But what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. And I want to pause it right there. This is super important, very important. You listen to it. Listen to the words. She said the Chinese were first. The U.S. is on the brink. But then listen to the next sentence. And then she says, and the Euro, uh, she says, the U.S. is on the brink, and the European countries have committed to it as well. As well as who? Well, she just mentioned the U.S. is on the brink. So you know by the words and the way she formed her sentence that she is including the U.S. in the sentence that followed. Okay, just... Yeah, sometimes when people speak, there's a way to listen and to listen more carefully to what they're actually saying. I want you to listen very carefully to what she just said. Let's go back and listen to that one more time. Listen very carefully. This new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private. But what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first... The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. And the so the U.S. is on the brink, and the Europeans have committed to that as well. As well as who? She just mentioned the U.S. So you know that well, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. This is the, the rolling out. You just heard it with your own ears. We are, she said, I'm going to say it boldly. Uh, so w w let's review real quick. In a, in a good classroom setting, you, you do your stuff and then you do a quick review of what you just did. Let's review real quick what we just heard. Okay, she's coming out. She's saying, I'm boldly announcing. Very important you listen to the way she announces it. I am boldly announcing this. We are going to abandon our previous form of accounting and, and money, and we're going to switch. So what was the previous one? The U.S. dollar, that's the, that's the one. And that we're going to switch from that to what's called blockchain. Cryptocurrency, where we have an almost perfect record of every transaction because it's tied to you. It's the mark of the beast, guys. It's no doubt about it. And then it's going to be in you. They're going to say, oh, no, no, no. You have to have it. And then if you got this thing to get your little neuro net in you, then you're all part of the system. Then you go online. Okay, so here we go. Let's listen to her whole thing one more time. I think it's super important just to listen. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. But talking about the new digital money. What under <laughs>
underpins of world order is always the financial system. Mm. I, I was very privileged. My father was an advisor to Nixon when they came off the gold standard in 71. And so I was brought up with a kind of inside view of how very important the financial structure is to absolutely everything else. And what we're seeing in the world today, I think, is we are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly. Yes. We're on the brink of a dramatic world change where we're, we are about to, and then she stops and she says, I will say this boldly and listen very carefully, folks. It's here. We're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting. Huh. And introduce a new one. That's and a the new one, dollar. the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. Listen it is. means having a almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also raises. Okay, so I don't, I don't need to play that through the whole thing, do I? Uh, let me go to what Klaus Schwab said, because this is really important. Klaus Schwab led the meeting. Uh, he, he introduced the meeting. Now, listen to what he says, because here comes the world shortages. Here's where they're going to make sure people are begging for this. If there's no food on the shelves, there's no water. Kid, people can't feed their kids. There's nowhere to go. And then they're like, well, we can we can help you. And they roll it out, but you got to take this to get it. You got to, you got to take the mark here. We'll just put your little chip right in your hand or your forehead and you can get what you need. See, this is no watch. And they're going to roll it out by creating major shortages and supply chain need problems. Just watch, just listen, watch this. Here we go. Okay. Let's do this. We do not yet know the full extent and the systemic and structural changes which will happen. Now listen to this. However, we do know that global energy systems, food systems, and supply chains will be deeply affected. Okay, so there you go. So there's Klaus Schwab. Now, okay, now here's where this entire video turns. I've Now, I've shown you they have announced the new world order. And you know what? Let me show you one other lady uh, just announcing the, I want you to hear the words new world order. So this, I, I've seen this on just, you know, it's been out there in the public for, you know, days and days. I've had this for quite a while, you know, several days, but I haven't been able to get to it because I've been dealing with other things that are trying to eat up my clock, which are just, uh, yeah, they're, they're very torturous at best. Okay, so here we go. Listen to this, listen to this lady. Listen to what she says. Title of this session. Are we ready for a new world order? Okay, so so there you go. That's all we need. We don't need to hear her talk anymore. So they've announced it. The World Government Summit with Klaus Schwab and these financial people and people from uh, all over the world, all over the globe, World Government Summit. World government. That's what Satan's one world rule is. It's a world government. It's one ruler for the whole world. And we know who that guy is, don't we? Lightning from heaven. Okay, so behind the scenes, throwing a guy named Joe O'Biden under the bus. Um, this might be a good, let me see if I can find this little clip real quick. <laughs> this would be a good time to interject this clip. Give me one second. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, I, I had a little glitch. I just want to make sure that the glitch is okay. Here we go. All right, I went and did a search for it. Oddly enough, I mean, surprise, surprise, they removed the language from the interview. So in this interview right here, that shows you everything. If they went to the trouble to remove the language, then why are they doing that? This is where Jin Saki tells Joyce Bayer from The View, when she goes, we, I heard you're leaving. I heard you're leaving uh, as press secretary. A little bird told me, and she goes, tell me it ain't so. And she goes, yeah. And then and then Jen Zaghi says, it's been the greatest honor of my life uh, working with President Obama, uh, uh, Biden. So she says, President Obama. She said, President Obama. Why are they, why are they cutting that out? Why would you cut that out? 
Well, if it's true and they don't want anyone to hear that, that'd be a good reason. If they're just throwing Joe Biden under the bus, there's no way you do what this guy's done. You don't open the borders and let millions of people flow through into your country. That's an invasion. They're wearing bracelets that have the devil on it that says Entrega, by the way. I've shown it to you. They're wearing bracelets that say Entrega, delivered, and it shows the devil rotating from down to, to up. It's pretty crazy. And then they now they've removed that. So anyway, let's let's move on from this. Let me show you now what I want to show you. This is really what I wanted to do this video about. This is the way the Lord's communicating to me that this locust thing from the pit is going to happen. Now, he uh, he's shown me already that this is something that is going to happen. And that would suggest that it's going to happen. It's I mean, it, it would imagine, I would imagine that with all the other stuff he's shown me on the U.S. currency, a.k.a. the tidal wave, uh, you know, covering New York, the, the nuke taking out New York that's printed on the $100 bill, all these images that the Lord God showed me to deliver to you guys to, so you guys could understand what time we're living in. This is the end of the world, guys. Uh, then he gives me the evidence to prove it. Okay, so let me show you a couple things that just happened and that would completely uh, confirm in my world. And when I say my world, I say that because the way my life works and the communication that I get is just, it's staggering. It's, it literally leaves me sometimes at the end of the day, all the information, I almost can't process what's been delivered to me. It's so mind boggling and staggering. So anyway, let me, let me jump into that. Let's, so let's do that real quick. The locusts are coming. So the beginning of the Bible was the formation of a host body system. It was an idol. Genesis one it says, let us create man in our image. The word is the word is idol. So in Genesis 1, when the word the word God is not the Lord God, it is not El the Almighty God, it's Elohim. Right there it says Elohim God. See it right there? Of the Supreme God. But remember this, they are many in one. So imagine a bunch of a, a codified group of angels that decided, yes, we're willing to do this. But it's a, don't forget, it's the forbidden fruit. The host body system itself, embodiment, is what angels are not supposed to do. So let me show you. So Elohim created man in his own image. See the word Elohim? It says gods of the supreme God. Let me show you the verse before that. And Elohim said, let us, that's plural, make men in our image. That's plural as well. So our image. Okay, it's the same word, Elohim, gods. A bunch of gods said, let us make man in our image. Okay, the word image. The word image means especially an idol. A resemblance, hence a representative figure. Read it for yourself. Say it out loud, especially an idol. Okay, so right after Elohim says, let us make man in our image, where it's plural, it turns to singular. So Elohim created man in his own image that singular see it singular and so elohim created man in his own image in the image of elohim created he him so he created himself male and female created he them so the word image again said it says a phantom figuratively an illusion resemblance hence a representative figure especially an idol so y'all know that's not the Lord God, and then let me slam that home that it's not the Lord God. In Exodus 20, when it says, I am the Lord thy God, I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage. Okay, remember, Egyptian, um, the Egyptian pantheon of gods, those are the Elohim. Uh, that's the basis for that world religion where you see Robert De Niro and all these guys doing this. That's nuts. That's the pantheon of Egyptian gods. Now watch. Okay, I'm the Lord thy God that brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The house of bondage means a dungeon. You shall have no other gods before me. Elohim. See it? Thou shalt, thou shalt not make unto thyself any graven image. See what it says? What's the word graven image? Idol. That's exactly what they did in Genesis 1. They made an idol. Thou shalt not make any graven image or any likeness. Look at the word likeness. It says something portioned out that is fashioned out as a shape. A phantom 
or specifically an embodiment or manifestation. Okay, so embodiment. Are you in a body? It's a yes or no. Well, yeah, so embodiment. Specifically embodiment. No embodiment. And look what it says, phantom. Something fashioned out as a shape, indefinitely phantom or specifically embodiment, figuratively manifestation. Okay, so there it is. Go back to Genesis 1 and look what it says. Okay, remember, what's the first word? Right here it says phantom, right? Genesis 1, right back to where we were. So Elohim created man in his own image. Ready? Click. A phantom. See it? An illusion, an idol, right there. So the creation of the host body system was an idol. That was the big no-no. And there was many in one. E pluribus unum. E pluribus means many. Uh, I'm going to show you the definition. There it is. So e pluribus unum is Latin, out of many. Out of many, one. So there it is. So now let's go back here. And then I will show you very quickly... Okay, remember male and female, one's right side up, one's upside down, remember? I showed you the representation of the triangles right side up and upside down. One is male, upside down is female. So watch this, on, your, on the U.S. currency, right here, right, right above the, the eagle is the phoenix, by the way, rising, so... If you connect all these lines right here and then you go down and across, that's one triangle right side up. You go down here, that's an upside down triangle. And the star in the middle is what they're transmuting. So that's a transmutation circle right above the, you know, the eagle, which is the phoenix rising. Because they know it's even on our currency. That's a transmutation circle destroying an angel is what it really is. And this is what the Lord's let me see. I can prove it all day long. And it says, e pluribus unum, out of many one. So, so this is the transmutation circle. And then let me just kind of show that to you. I'd like very much to show you the mechanics of it because that that solves the whole the whole puzzle. Watch. So I'll take this right here and I'll go like this and I'll just enlarge this. And that's what that is right there. That's what's right above the eagle said. And the star is in the middle, and if you remember, that's exactly what the host body is, a peel shell or husk. That's what the Statue of Liberty is standing on. See right there? That's, this is exactly what's right above that eagle, right here. So it took, some, it took some body that could understand the serpent symbology completely, and it couldn't be something that you studied. This is a gift. This is the Lord God giving me a gift to give to you. Okay, now let's... Let's move on now to the locust coming out of the pit because that's what's going to happen. That's what I want you guys to see. The Lord conveyed it to me in a very interesting way. Um, this is somebody, uh, they have a channel that no one left behind, and they took uh, the folders that the Lord gave me. Uh, they've taken some of the videos that I've done, and they're, they're doing their own thing to try and warn people, which is good as long as they don't go off, as long as they don't go off the... Uh, the script and as long as they don't plug in it like a lot of people end up doing which is really scary but anyway so this person did this video and it says how do i know i'm sorry let's see if i can reduce that it says how i know new york will have been eventually be nuked so in this video right here this guy says this is what happened to a couple friends uh, that really didn't believe any of this stuff. And then he showed him some of the stuff that the Lord God showed me. And so he did a video on it. He did a pretty good job and uh, good for him. And so then this came back up in front of me uh, in, in um, I got one the minute, last section one minute of left. comments from my last video. Someone said, Jonathan, did you know you actually showed this a long time ago? In 2014... When Obama was president, I did a video because Lady Gaga had done a big statue of herself and she had a big ball of water in front of her and she has her legs bent like she's birthing. And it, I, knew it, I knew it was a birthing event. And so I'm going to play a little bit of that video, but there's a surprise in it. Trust me. I'm going to play it until we get to the surprise 
because what's going on in the Ukraine right now, everybody knows that could spark the nuclear war. They've been talking about left and right all day long. Like this is going to, you know, trigger a nuclear war. They've been, they've been telegraphing it. So here we go. Ready? Let's watch this part with Lady Gaga. And we're going to watch it right until I get to that part. So we'll watch probably about uh, about four or five minutes of this is, is all we're going to watch. So pay attention. Here we go. Now, this is Lady Gaga's statue that she did. And if uh, you when you invert it, it becomes the devil. You can see the devil pretty easy. The eye, eye, nose, mouth, horns. Anyway, and she's doing this birthing thing. So here we go. Birthing the new also at the Hoover Dam. See it right there? It's easy to see when it's small. There's the bridge, the road across the top. There's the archway underneath and the support structure. You see the bridge at the Hoover Dam right there? Okay, I'm going to go scroll through some pictures. There's a big image of the devil with his horns. There you go. There's, there's the bridge right there. And there's the water coming through. And the devil is birthing his new race. And of Sorry, God inside I... of them. So they are fit extensions that God uses for his kingdom. Well, the devil has the same thing. The devil 